Every Nanavida. Empress Yin Lihua of Liu Xu, Emperor Guangwu of the Eastern Han Dynasty. Liu Xu, the founder of the Eastern Han Dynasty, fell in love with Yin Lihua, a beautiful woman from Xinai County, Hunan Province, when he was young and wanted to marry her, which he later did. A beauty adored by all. Liu Xu was a descendant of Liu Bang, the founder of the Western Han Dynasty. Liu Biu, the son of Liu Fa, the king of Changsha Ding, the son of Emperor Chengdi of the Han Dynasty, was a distant ancestor of Liu Xu when he was enshrined in Changcheng Atrium Ling in present-day Ningjuan County, Hunan Province. In the generation of Liu Biu's grandson, Liu Ren, he asked the emperor for permission to migrate inward because he. Fort Chang Hom Ling was too humid and moved northward to Nanyang Beishu Township present day Zaoyang County, Hubei Province and renamed Beishu Township as Chang Hom Ling. The Liu family was passed on repeatedly with many branches, but Liu Qin, the Liu Xu's father, could only maintain a modestly prosperous situation. Henping Di Yuan Chi for years of C. D. 4. Liu Qin died of illness. Nine-year-old Liu Xu had to an elder brother Liu Niting Yin. The second brother, Liu Zhong, sister Liu Yuan turned to rely on uncle Liu Liao live. Liu family generations of farmers, Liu Xu, will be plowing and reading under the rain, spending an ordinary and down-to-earth childhood. Liu Xu's second sister Liu Yuan was married to Deng Chun, a son of a family in Xunai County, a few dozen miles northwest of Chenglin. Liu Xu sometimes went to live with his brother-in-law in Xinai. In Xinai County, even a three-year-old child knows that the Yin family is the richest. The fields of the Yin family are as far as the eye can see. The servants of the Yin family are in groups. And the Yin family has a beautiful young lady named Yin Lihua. When it comes to the Yin family in Xinai, it can be said to be a family with a long history. It is said that the ancestor of the Yin family was originally surnamed Guan a descendant of Guangzhou in the spring and autumn period, which can be called the family of the Prime Minister. Guangzhou's seventh grandson, Guan Xu, went from Qi to Chu, and became a Yin doctor, and then he took the name of the place as his family name, and then he moved to Xinai in Hubei province to settle down at the end of the Qin and Han dynasties. By the time of Emperor Xuandi of the Western Han dynasty, the Yin family was already in decline. Still, the head of the family, Yin Zifan was kind and respectful, often helping others despite his poverty. He often gave money to help others despite his poverty. On the 23rd day of the Lunar New Year, Yin Lihua was a family member. On the 23rd day of the Lunar New Year, Yin Lihua, the god of the kitchen, was to be worshipped. Yin Zifan was so poor that he had nothing to offer to the god of the cooking pot. So he suddenly had an idea and killed the only yellow dog in the house to offer it to the god of the cooking pot. It is said that the god of the stove blessed the Yin family, and the family became wealthy, bought land and built houses, and became a famous rich man in the area. Yin Zifan gave birth to his son, Yin Yugong, and Yin Yugong gave birth to his son, Yin Mutsu, the character Yu Ming, who was the father of Yin Lihua. Later, because of Yin Lai was married to Liu Xu, the Yin family became a royal relative, rich and noble. And it was rumored that all this was the result of the Zhaoxian's secret help. Yin Lihua was famous for her beauty since she was a child, and the Yin family was wealthy. So although many men adored her, no one dared to climb the ladder. Liu Xu is 10 years older than Yin Lihua. Age is obviously older. The wealth is even worse than a big cut the head of the fallen king's grandson of the street, not to mention it. This kind of admiration for the feelings of love, but also can only be put in the heart. During the Qianfeng period of Wang Mang's new dynasty, Liu Xu, who was in his twenties, went to Chang'an to study with Mr. Xu Zivei of Lu Zhang. One day, he saw in the capital Wang Mang's temple before the executive Jingwei official name. The annual salary of 2,000 stone rice, each stone is equal to about 110 pounds responsible for the emperor's security guard, is commanding his subordinates majestically to arrange for the emperor to go out on a tour of the security guards before the ordinary people are like the plague god avoiding the empty. When Yu Xu saw this, he couldn't help but be envious and sighed, I would like to be an official as the deacon's golden goo, and I would like to have a wife as Yin Lihua. 
Liu Xu's two volunteers later all realized until he became the emperor. There was Deacon Jin Wu to protect him at his beck and call, and Ying Lihua married several more beautiful. Liu Xu's ambitions back then were not that big, but to Liu Xu back then, these two ambitions were like a dream that could not be realized. Taking the risk of marrying Liu Xu, the leader of the rebel army, because Wang Mang's new policy of reforming the system through the rule of law was too radical. It was difficult for the society to adapt to it for a while. Coupled with years of drought and locusts that caused famine, the ordinary people who could not survive had to take the risk of going into hiding and become bandits. Among these bandits, the Red Eyebrows Army in Qingzhou and Shuzhou and the Green Forest Army in Jingzhou were the most powerful. Liu Xu and his brothers, Liu Yong and Liu Zhong, joined the Green Army in the third year of the reign of Emperor D22 AC. He and challenged the Wang Mang regime. The Liu family was a large clan and landowner in Nanyan and had Han blood. And the Liu brothers were excellent, so that they could make a name for themselves very quickly. Liu's family brother, Liu Niting Yin, is bold and likes to make guests and rise against the army on his initiative. Liu Xu is a person of honor and thick, silent, and does not like to make a splash or things in the stomach. Because of Yu Zhen's sharpness and strictness, most allied armies were unwilling to make him their leader. In February of the following year, Liu Xuan Liu Tang's brother, who was another descendant of the Han Dynasty, was appointed as the emperor with the name of Cheng Shi, which was the first year of the Cheng Shi reign in 23 AC. D. In the fifth month of the first year, Liu Xuan captured the city of Wanqing present day and Yang County, Hunan province and made it the country's capital. As a result, Wang Mang sent Wang Yi and Wang Shun with an army of 400,000 to quell the rebellion. Wang Yi and Wang Shun first sent over 100,000 men to besiege Kunyang present day Yi County, Hunan province, the stronghold of the Allied forces. The generals of the Changxi army were so cowed that they planned to abandon the city and flee. Fortunately, Liu Xu came to their rescue and defeated the army of the new dynasty. As a result, Wang Shun was killed, and Wang Yi fled back to Luang with thousands of men in a sorry state. Liu Xu's victory in Kunyang was a sensation to the whole country and sounded the death knell of Wang Mang. Emperor Cheng Sha sent two armies to take advantage of the victory, one to attack Luang and the other to attack Chang'an. As a result, Wang Mang was killed in September of the same year on the gradual stage of the Waiyang Palace and the new dynasty, which had lasted for 16 years, died. After winning the Battle of Kunyang, the 29-year-old Liu Xu went to Xinai County to propose marriage to the Yin family to take Yin Lihua as his wife. On the one hand, the 19-year-old Yin Lihua was still in the middle of her childhood and had not yet found a compatible husband. On the other hand, she was also intimidated by Liu Xu's military might. And the marriage was finalized in the sixth month of the first year of the Changxi era. At the time of the wedding, Wang Mang's regime had not yet collapsed. Yu Xu was still a rebel bandit, so it was a significant risk for the Yin family to marry their daughter to Yu Xu at the risk of having their entire family executed. Later on, Yin Lihua became the empress, and the descendants of the Yin family were appointed as princes and feudal lords all of which were the rewards of this marriage, which was a gamble on their lives. Yin Lihua and her husband had just finished their honeymoon, and the groom Liu Xu hastily put on the battlefield. Yin Liwa's half-brother Yin discussion the same mother's younger brother Yin Exing. Yin, with Liu Xu rebel together, encounter with Guo Tong. Shortly after the Battle of Kunyang, Liu Yong was killed due to the suspicion of Emperor Cheng Sha. Seeing this, Liu Xu was more modest and hush-hush and apologized to Liu Xuan, saying that his brother deserved to be punished for his crime, which saved him from a big disaster. Although Liu Xuan, the first emperor, had set his capital at Luwang, the Liu royal family in the north did not take Liu Xuan seriously. For example, Liu Yang, the king of Shending, and the brothers Liu Jin, who had more than 100,000 soldiers, supported Wang Lang of Handan in the southwest of present-day Hebei province, creating a confrontation between Liu in the north and Liu in the south. Liu Xuan could not sleep or eat in Luo, so he sent Liu Xu to Hebei to appease the enemy. Liu Xu was so weak that he was sent to his death, but he could not disobey the emperor's order, 
so he had to go. When Liu Xu came to Hebei, he heard that Wan Glan offered a reward of 100,000 families for his head. Liu Xu had no choice but to flee to Jizhou Tixin County, Hebei Province. And when Jizhou could not survive, he fled to Shindu Jixin County, Hebei Province. Luckily, the small local warlords Liu Xi and Liu Zai supported him and suggested he become relatives with the prominent warlord Liu Yang by marrying Liu Yang's niece Guo Xingtong. Seeing that he was isolated and helpless and that it was a dead end for him to go north and retreat south, Liu Xu had to propose marriage to Liu Yang and promise to support Liu Yang to be the emperor in the future. Liu Yang was so happy that he married his niece Guo Xingtong to Liu Xu. It was in March of the second year of the reign of Liu Xu, less than a year after his marriage to Ying Lihua. Initially, Liu Xu took one step at a time, using the political marriage as a talisman, but not daring to expect anything else. I did not expect the wedding night, only to find the bright Kuo Xingtong as a lady of the house. There is a graceful and noble style, and Miss Yun Lihua is very different. This is happy, from then on, from day to day with Kuo Xingtong relative to the meeting. Only a month of Yin Lihua forgot all about it. Liu Xu can do people, love, and the battlefield. Many heroes and heroes heard of the wind to join, more the first three years 25 AC. Di Jun, he was officially independent in Yan'an now Jiaoyi County, Hebei Province, the reign of the emperor, the year named Jianwu. In September of the same year, the Red Eyebrows attacked Chang'an and killed Liu Xuan, the first emperor of the Changxi dynasty. Liu Xu took advantage of this and moved south to capture Luo, where he made his capital. Dissatisfied with Liu Xu's reneging on his promises and his lousy behavior of cheating on marriage and wealth, the brothers Liu Yang and Liu Jin revolted and were defeated and killed by Liu Xu's general Cheng Chun. By the third year of Jianwu 27 AC, D. The red eyebrows had also been alleviated by Liu Xu. Although there were still several ruling forces in the world, most of the country was owned by Liu Xu and was no longer a cause for concern. Humble and courteous to get a good reward. After Liu Xu set up his capital in Luang, the first thing he faced was the question of who to appoint as the empress. Because Yin Lihua was also welcomed into Lujing from Ningping in October of the first year of Jianwu and lived in the palace with Guo Xintong as the same person of honor. In terms of marriage time, of course, Yin Lihua was first considered the original spouse. Still, Guo Xintong first, in the spring of the first year of Jianwu, Guo Xu first gave birth to a son named Liu Qiao. While Yin Lihua, due to the separation from her husband, has never been pregnant. Fortunately, Yin Gairan was beautiful and generous. Guo Gairan was beautiful and educated and the two nobles got along very well, which comforted Liu Xu, the Guangwu Emperor. At that time, the ministers hoped to establish Yin Lihua as the queen, but Yin Lihua resolutely and humbly declined, saying that Guo Gairin had a son, so she should be the first to be established. Liu Xu agreed to make Guo Xingtong the empress, and her son Liu Qiang was made the crown prince. As the world had yet to be fully appeased, and the forces of the Liu family in the north still needed to be appeased. However, it is difficult to generalize about the successes and failures, to appease noble lady Ying Lihua and to make up for the coldness towards her in the past few years. Liu Xu, from the fourth year of Jianwu, took her along with him on his crusade against Ding Feng and Peng Favor to make up for the honeymoon. Queen Kua is regarded as famous, and noble lady Yin survived the benefits. Yun Lihua was pregnant during the honeymoon and gave birth to her eldest son, Liu Zhuang. From the 3rd to the 17th year of Zhen Wu, Guo Shengtong was the empress. During this period, Empress Guo gave Yu Xu four more sons. Liu Fu, Liu Kong, Liu Yan, and Yu Yan, plus the original Liu Qiang, making a total of five. A noble lady Yin also gave birth to five sons, Liu Zhuang, Liu Kang, Liu Jing, Liu Heng, and Liu Jing. In addition, there was another beauty, Xu, who gave Liu Xu a son, Liu Ying. Although Guo Xingtong became the empress, Yin Lihua was still influential in the court and government. Because she was from Liu Xu's hometown, and Liu Xu relied on the soldiers from his hometown to fight for the world, 
the military and governmental power of the imperial court had always been in the hands of people from Nanyang. And these senior officials always supported Yun Lihua and hoped that she would become the empress. Guo Shengtong was isolated in the palace, and the power of Northern Liu weakened after the world was stabilized, so the situation was very favorable to Yin. In the ninth year of Jian Wu, robbers broke into Yin Liwa's mother's house and killed her mother, Deng and brother Yin Xin. Emperor Guangwu was very sad, thinking he owed too much to the Yin family. He posthumously rewarded his father-in-law, mother-in-law and brother-in-law and favored Yin Lihua even more. In the 17th year of Jian Wu, Liu Xu finally decided to abolish Empress Guo by imperial decree and install Yin Lihua as the queen. Because Guo was too strict with the children and could not educate them properly, so they could not be entrusted with a son in the future. Only after 19 years of marriage to her husband did Yin Lihua take her rightful place on the throne. In terms of seniority, she was more qualified than Guo to be queen. But she held back for 17 years, which only some can have or even most people can't do. After Yin Lihua became empress, the crown prince Yu Chang did not feel comfortable and asked for the removal of the crown prince's name. As a result, Liu Xu agreed and made Yu Zhuang, the eldest son of Empress Yin, the crown prince, who was later crowned Emperor Ming of Han. Happiness came a little late. Although happiness comes late, a good ending is real happiness. After Liu Xu became empress of Yin Lihua, she was emperor for another 15 years before she died. Hua Yin Lihua died in the first month of the spring of the seventh year of Emperor Ming's reign, 64 AC, the at the age of 60, and was buried with her husband in the original mausoleum, which was a good end for Yin Lihua.